We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. I'm Bill Hurst doing the photography. I own the uh, Highland Hill Farm. And this is Mike Lewis of Lewis Wholesale Nursery. Mike is one of the premier growers that we use here at Highland Hill Farm. We also grow a lot of arborvitas, but we, we uh, are supplied by Mike. He's right across the street from our nursery and our, our operation. And Mike is, is an expert on raising arborvitas. Mike went and graduated from the Longwood School in uh, uh, Chester County, Pennsylvania. And he's a, a premier grower in Pennsylvania, world-renowned grower. Now, I shouldn't say that, but that is the truth. Everyone in the northeast Pennsylvania and the uh, eastern seaboard who raises arborvitas and, and nursery stock knows Mike Lewis here. So he's well known. And he's going to talk to you today about arborvita trimming and how to trim them properly. And these are small arborvitas, a zebrina, green giant, and an emerald green. Okay, Mike. All right. What you want to do with your arborvitae is when you prune them, you want to encourage them to have a single stem. Just one stem coming up out of the middle, like right here. What you want to do is knock back some of these extra stems. Here in the Northeast, we get a lot of wet, heavy snow, and if you have too many stems, they have a tendency to pull apart. Most of the time, they'll spring back, but sometimes you might get some breakage. So what we like to do is take the head shears and knock these tips back just a little bit, which will encourage a fuller, fatter plant, as well as keeping it up into a single stem. In school, we were always taught when in doubt, cut it out. So you always want to, don't be afraid to take a little bit of, of foliage off the tree. Here, none of these plants' branches will come up into a single stem anymore, or into a multiple stem. You cut them back, this stem will dominate. Here on the Green Giant, we're going to do the same thing. Just This is a fairly full plant, so we're just going to tip it back all the way around to make a nice, fat, heavy plant. On Green Giants, we get a lot of vigorous growth, so you always want to make sure you just knock your tips back just a little bit because they'll stretch out because they grow so fast. On the Emerald Greens, it's a much fatter, fuller plant, so you don't have to shear them nearly as hard. Just tip them back go around the plant. And again, you have a couple little stems developing here. Just trim it back so you just have one stem coming up to the top, and that'll make a nice full plant, which is what you want. Okay. That's it. Have a good day at Highland Hill Farm. Okay. Thank you very much, Mike. We'll see you. At Highland Hill Farm, we offer many specialized services for your landscape needs. For example, if we're in your area and we have our crews near your property, we will come out for free and give you suggestions on what you can use in the far, insofar as landscaping. We specialize in windbreaks and hedges and barriers, but we also grow thousands of shade trees, flowering trees and shrubs, as well as ground covers like junipers, and small shrubs for along walkways, such as boxwoods. Our trees that we sell range in size from seedlings, transplants, to large caliper trees, three and four inches in diameter. We also have a lot of unusual trees, like paperbark maples. We also carry and stock and grow the copper beech tree. It's a magnificent tree, and we have them from, in, from seedlings up to about 12 foot tall. Now, when you want us, just give us a call at 215-651-8329. We also offer free insurance estimates. If you send us pictures of your damaged property, we will get back to you with a free estimate on how much we would charge to replace and amend the property to put it back to its original condition to make you whole. We are, we are available 24 hours a day at our phone number, 215 651 8329. We also have an unusual nursery in that at our nursery shop we have lots of things for the kids to look at like fossils, dinosaur bones, we also have meteorites and Indian artifacts. So when the kids come and you bring your kids to get a tour of our nursery there's, there's things for the kids to do as well as for the parents.